Hello again and welcome to my bed. <laughs> I will get a proper filming set up eventually. For now it is what it is and these are all my makeup brushes which is insanity since I rarely leave my apartment and I rarely wear makeup. This just like I said is insane. Leave a comment uh, letting me know if you also struggle with hoarding brushes and have a brush addiction. So I'm going to dump these out and I may, I think I'll sort them by what type of brush they are. Also, I don't even know what some of these brushes do. <laughs> this pile is massive. I'm actually curious. I'm going to count and see how many I have. And then I have these two kabukis. Oh my gosh, I should be recording on a tripod. I have my mini brushes in here, but I think what I'm going to do to start off is sort by brand. Like I said, insanity, but I'm going to start sorting them. I am recording handheld, so I'll start sorting and I'll be right back. So we are going to go by brand and I'll show you what I have. If you find brushes boring, you probably won't want to watch this because there are a lot of brushes and I'll, I might actually go through each one individually. We'll see how I feel. Okay, so I'm going to start off with brushes where I only have one brush by the brand. We have a brush by Melt Cosmetics. I originally bought this thinking it was a foundation brush. It very well may be, but I find that it's very stiff. The surface area is quite large as well, so I'm not sure. It doesn't work that well on me as a foundation brush, so if you know what this would be used for, do let me know. Okay, next we have... Is it pronounced Elginest? I believe this is a bronzing brush. Hip Dot. Is it a concealer brush? I'm not sure. But a lot of these are, I actually forgot to mention this, a lot of these are from Ipsy and from when BoxyCharm was around. So I would say maybe half are from Ipsy and BoxyCharm. But this is Hip Dot. We have a brush by Rare Beauty. It's my only Rare Beauty brush. I think it's supposed to be an eyeshadow brush, but it can be used maybe as a concealer brush as well. This brand, I don't even know what this is. This literally may be the first brush I ever purchased. It just says, what does it say? Squaresource.ca. I think this is Suva Beauty. And I heard they just closed it down. But this is the only product I have by Suva Beauty. Luna Magic. What is this? Yenza. Is that how you pronounce it? Silk bronzer. That came in the kit. Oh my gosh, stop rolling. That's what happens when you film in bed. Belle en Argent. And this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Wing Me. I don't like this brush at all. Is this... I don't even know what these letters are supposed to be. Is it VC? YC? And this one just went rolling. And this is... Bare Minerals was also one of my first brushes. And then we have a Natasha Denona brush that came in one of the mini eyeshadow, came with one of the mini eyeshadow palettes. These are all the no-name brushes. I'm not going to bother going through them. These brushes are ones where I have three or less of the brand. So these three came in a kit. This was back when BoxyCharm was around. Okay, I'm not sure of the brand. What is this? Vintage, the Vintage Company. I also have three brushes by Alamar Cosmetics. Even though I've barely used these, 
the lettering has already worn off. Three brushes by Complex Culture. And these are cute. And they're by, I can't see the name, something Miss Glam. Two by Morphe. I got this one because it was, I believe it was on sale for maybe $3 on Sephora. And then this I got off the Morphe website when I was purchasing some palettes. And this is supposed to be good for packing on shimmer. I find it doesn't work that well. And these are BoxyCharm brushes, actually. I think it even says BoxyCharm on it. Yeah, BoxyCharm. So I don't have brushes like these. They feel quite... They're very stiff. They're extremely stiff. I don't know what you're supposed to use them for because they're so stiff. I tried them as a foundation brush. It did not work too well. I don't know. What would you use these for? Brushes that are very tightly packed and very stiff. I have four wrapper brushes. I have number 1, 2, 15, and 27. These are by Ace Beauté. Five brushes by MOTD. I don't know what that stands for. I'll have to look that up because I am curious. These are by the brand Aesthetica, and I've barely used these. However, the logo has worn off already. Crown brushes. I actually have a very old eyeshadow palette by Crown. I've never really heard anything about the brand. Everything I've received was from BoxyCharm. These are by Profusion. And I got these at the dollar store. I don't really like them, however. I have quite a lot of brushes by Real Techniques because they are very affordable. These were all purchased on Amazon. I'm going to show you something in a moment. These brushes. They are actually the brushes that Real Techniques uses, and then they just add their logo to their brushes. And when I was ordering this set, I did have the option to get the set in this color. I chose black, however, so let's push those aside. The set was $6. It was $6.88 Canadian. So I'm getting eight basically Real Techniques other than they don't have the logo, but eight brushes for under $7 Canadian. I've never found an exact brush before uh, by a brand. These are exact brushes that Real Techniques uses. I have some more no-name brushes. <clears throat> These do have wooden handles. This came in a set these were listed as being, I don't know, $200 normally and on sale for under 50. This was, oh, I got these over 10 years ago and I don't really use them. I don't really like them. Okay, so these are the last of my brushes. I think these are the ones that I have the most of. So we'll do e.l.f. right now. This is, actually these two are my first e.l.f. brushes. The letter, the lettering has worn off a little bit. Then we have, what is this even? I'm not even sure what you would use this kind of brush for. Can I even read that? A small stipple brush. I'm assuming that means foundation brush. I'm not sure. And then I have these two. These I purchased very recently on Amazon. Blush brush, and then this I just use for liquids uh, or cream products. And I have tried it as a foundation brush and it works okay for that as well. This, I have no idea. I don't know what it's used for. I bought it a long time ago. So that is e.l.f. And these are Moda brushes. I have some eye brushes here, and then I have some Moda face brushes. 
and all of the model brushes were from Ipsy. These are LaRousse. These are eye brushes. I have multiples of some of these. And then I have three face brushes and these are also from Ipsy. I have a ton of Luxie brushes. And again, all of these are from Ipsy. I don't even know if Lux is Luxie a brand that has an actual website. I'm not even sure if it's just strictly a brand that Ipsy, uh, I don't know, carries. But just a variety of face brushes, some mini brushes, eye brushes. I think this might be the brand that I have the most brushes by, actually. I'm going to count all my brushes at the end. I'm guessing I have over 100. Actually leave a comment pause the video right now and leave a comment guessing how many brushes i have these are some mini sigma brushes sigma might actually be the brand that i have the most brushes by either sigma or luxie so some mini eye brushes by sigma i have one face brush this is a foundation brush it's their 3d hd what is this called 3d hd kabuki and then the rest of these are various eye brushes. So that is it. That concludes my makeup brush video. I am going to go through these off camera and declutter most of these. I'm not throwing anything away because I'm a hoarder. I keep everything, uh, but I will pick up my favorites and then just put the rest aside. So I don't think anybody wants to see that. I just went through all these brushes. I doubt anybody wants to see me go through these again and pick out my favorites. Unless you're a brush hoarder like I am and are obsessed with brushes, maybe you do want to see this. So let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching if you made it to the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and it would be awesome if you would subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.